Hello everyone, this is going to be a very short video, but it's going to form the basis for some of the future videos to come. So we've done the information gathering, before we go any further, it's important to state your objectives. What exactly do you intend to achieve? Now your approach will be dependent on the answer to that question. If it's just the website you are interested in, then you go through a different approach. If you are interested in, you know, penetrating the internal network of the organization, you would also go through an entirely different approach. You see a lot of cybersecurity videos or books, they will tell you um, after reconnaissance, you go straight to scanning, which is okay, which is good. But then again, you are, we are looking at the effectiveness of the approach, what exactly do we intend to do? So it's best to understand the network infrastructure, the infrastructure on ground, then we can now be able to answer the question as to how to tackle the issue. So this is a typical network infrastructure. We have the internet, we go through, then there's the firewall, and then there's the, what you call the DMZ or the demilitarized zone. Now this, is, um, this contains internet facing servers. So it's kind of like an untrusted zone. Now um, like the web server can be here, um, the mail servers, you know, things that are internet facing, they'll be here in this DMZ. There are some companies that actually group everything including their whole network right here. Okay, but we are looking at a you know standard, typical network infrastructure. We have the DMZ here, which has internet-facing servers. And then um, we now have the internal network, which is um, the normal um, um, office systems, servers, computers, printers, and the like. Then there is also. Um, another let's say another network which we don't actually know what's up you understand it's probably closed to us we don't know what exactly is here so that's why the question mark is here so now um, there are many ways let's say um, to attack an, you know to attack an organization if it's the if like I mentioned if it's the website we are interested in we'll go through a different approach okay now um, we'll go to the I'm going to show you each of the approaches we'll go through one by one you know and uh, but it's best to know like I, I want you I want to put you in the mind of an attacker how an attacker would approach it so some of the ways an attacker could do he could try perhaps with this public servers then build his way all the way to here and uh, that can be a little bit time consuming it can be a little bit complex and you might not even get the results you are looking for but it's still you know doable another approach which is actually um, one of the most effective ways is what you call is what is known as fishing now that's where Perhaps someone, uh, maybe you, um, someone from here, someone, um, someone somewhere else, sent an email, and someone here opens the email. Now it could be an attachment, it could be a link, and the attacker kind of entices him, perhaps in his message, to actually click the link or download a malicious file. Now the thing is, if the um, user here downloads that file you know uh, he, um, he has the attacker has a direct link to the internal network and he could send like you know a thousand mails to maybe a thousand employees all he, all it takes is just one person just one person over here to click you know the link or the attachments you know and run it on his system and then the attacker can have full access 
you know or even if it's part access and he can build his way up but all it takes is for the user to click something so um i will talk about phishing in a later video but i just want you to understand a typical network infrastructure you know how it works now this is an oversimplification of course you know a lot of like many of the you know large establishments trust me they are way more complex than this but this is you know this forms like the basis to how you know um a typical you know network infrastructure is supposed to be so um if you like this video please um give it a thumbs up subscribe and thank you